I haven't talked about working in natural light for a while and while editing the pictures that you're about to see, I thought it was the perfect time to share a few thoughts on the subject. Hi there, my name is Aiz and I'm a photographer and I'm so happy to see you guys again this week. Although I cannot see you guys, but I know that there are some of you out there that tune in each week. So a really simple video, five tips, ideas, thoughts that will help you before and during your photo shoot things to look out for and to be aware of. I used to be really stressed, really nervous before a shoot, so I really hope that this video will help some of you guys out there, especially you guys, the ones that are starting out. Like the title suggests, prepare for the worst. The light changes all the time when you shoot outdoors. It's so number one, the intensity, the color, and the direction will change multiple times during your session. So depending on the moment of the day, early in the morning, during midday, or in the evening, your lights won't be the same. So it sounds obvious, but I still see a ton of photographers taking this for granted. Depending on the story you want to tell, the type of shoot, the purpose, there is a time of the day, during the day, that will suit your project, your ideas best. Number two, you're gonna have to forget the time, that time when I used to say that you had to shoot during golden hour, during magic hour, you know, um, early in the morning or when the sun sets. So of course, with that beautiful soft light, warm light, you will make amazing images. But this is pretty limiting. So shooting during golden hour doesn't fit every scenario. You know, if you want an intense look, uh, brighter highlights, dark contrast, and deep shadows, well, if this is your style, shooting at noon might be best for you. Number three, look around, analyze your scene. Where does light come from? How does it behave on your model? How are the shadows? If you know what you're doing, if you know what you're looking for and what you want to do, if you understand what's going on around you, you will place your model correctly. Number four, no guessing, no guessing game. Don't be surprised by, by the picture you just took. That's not professional. Plan your shoot beforehand. Ideas, mood board, please communicate with your team if you have one, if you don't. Uh, communicate with your model if you have one. Don't go on location unprepared. Improvisation can work if you're really experienced. If you are not, don't do it. Please prepare your shoot beforehand. I rarely come unprepared on a photo shoot, even though I do improvise on shoots quite a lot. Number five, really important, the last thing I'm going to think about is how am I going to post process my images? Who are they for? What is the purpose of this shoot? How am I going to edit these images? You can, for example, prioritize the exposure on your model and go for a high key look and completely blow out your sky and background. This is a common effect that a lot of photographers use. Or if you know your camera, if you know what it's capable of, if you're shooting in RAW, really important, you can slightly underexpose your shot to keep and maintain all the details in the highlights and still being able to recover your shadows and exposure in Lightroom and in Photoshop. So we were in London for two outdoor fitness photo shoots with two amazing athletes. Nothing crazy, simple shots, poses, portraits, you know, the usual, until we saw the weather forecast. So basically I had to work with what I had. Uh, light changing constantly, wind, rain, and you know what, this is what we got.
Tu la coupes déjà So I really hope this video will help some of you guys out there. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so, please. Give a little thumbs up and share this video to the world if you want to somehow, you know, give some love and support my work. Could be cool. <laughs> and you want to share in the comments below your tips to help anyone out there who wants to make better pictures in natural light. So that's it for now. I'm gonna wish you all a fantastic weekend. The sun is out, so I really hope it's going to stay. Please, please stay. So see you next week in my next video. But until then, have a good one. <laughs>